Well, new this morning, you've heard of sanctuary cities, but what about sanctuary counties? Tonight, Washtenaw County will vote to not only back its immigration community, but also provide that support. As 7 Action News reporter Matt Smith tells us, there's a plan to earmark funds to fight deportations. Matt. That money coming from their rainy day funds. This would also change county policy so you could not ask or try to find out information about somebody's immigration status. And the vote is happening tonight. The last time county leaders spoke immigration, the crowd was larger and louder than usual. Person after person taking a stand both for. I don't think this is a strong enough <laughs> policy. And against a proposed trio of immigration policies. A representative that places the interests of illegal aliens above the law and above the citizens needs to resign. That's Tom Belger, an elected official herself. She and others taking issue with the use of Washtenaw County tax dollars. One in the trio of proposed actions comes with an estimated one-time cost of $135,000 out of the county's rainy day funds. The money earmarked to help undocumented immigrants at risk of deportation. National powers and institutions often do not really understand um, the difficulties that immigrants and refugees go through. Those I spoke with in the community seem to back the idea of tax dollars helping undocumented immigrants. Some, like Tom Yeager, even calling it a snub to the president and his administration. If we're not on the ball on this, then, you know, who, who else would do it? And while the passage of the resolution seems likely, there's no guarantee, as at least two commissioners have already gone on record saying they're against the trio of resolutions. You know, I don't support us uh, supporting illegal activities, nor do I support funding them. The meeting takes place tonight in Ann Arbor at 645. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith.